already jamming out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Mars live stream. Um, we are here with another part of our Blender Foley uh, tutorial series. Um, I think uh, Corey's got some pretty cool stuff in mind for you. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, in the meantime, I think we'll probably mostly be focusing on Corey's computer. I'm going to be doing kind of some Blender stuff in the background, just setting up our scene, um, getting ready to uh, sort of block out what the animation is going to look like, which I have no idea. So it's going to be kind of just coming up with things as we go. Uh, we don't really have a storyboard for this, which we probably should, but um, you know, we're, we're making it work as it is. So, yeah. It's, it's really more of a proof of concept than a, a story right. brought to life. Yeah. Um, that's all right. Yeah, so uh, you're hearing a loop of the uh, cafe music that I made on right. stream previously. Let's switch over to our... Now I've like resampled this thing, so there's not much to look at. Uh, so I've resampled this thing down into a loop because uh, I rendered out. I just like blocked out like a minute of audio because you know a minute's not very long time for like a song or like music. You know, you, like a minute kind of flies by, but like mm -hmm. in three D animation or in really an animation of any kind, a minute's a long time. Uh, and a lot of things need to happen in a minute. You know, if you just imagine just like in the real world, like if there's anything going on, how many different objects might move in one minute and how they, you know, how they might interact and all this, you know, there's just a lot to think about. Camera angles, shots, lighting, blah, blah, blah. So um, I, I was kind of assuming we might like end up with something roughly that length. But uh, I guess we haven't talked about the audio portion of this, so I'm just going to back up for anyone who hasn't like seen it already. Um, the... Uh, these came from uh, a, well here, I'll show you, uh, we'll solo the group, um, which I called Cheese Jazz. And I, I made a couple different songs on a stream a while back. Uh, here's the first one that you were hearing. Uh, make sure you don't hear that thing. Like, hmm. A little more high fidelity for you. Now I like, I put these effects on it because I wanted it to sound like it was coming out of Chintzy Radio. Uh, so if you want to hear it in full fidelity. Yeah. <laughs> so my goal with this was to create some like aleatoric jazz, basically. See how I can set this up you guys can still see Corey. You don't really need to look at me. You know what I look like. That's true. I'll just make this full screen. Okay. Um, I have uh, I have Blender kind of covering the bottom, my screen um, covering kind of the bottom right corner. Got it. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm not gonna be going too in depth with any like technical stuff right now. Um, okay. But I suppose if if uh, I can't see the output right now um, of the stream, so if anyone wants to, if if. If anything, or like you know, like when I'm looking at Ableton, I don't see what y'all are seeing. So if you if if you want to know about anything that gets obscured by <laughs> what Jay's doing, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is distracting. This is really <laughs> distracting. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, so this is my rando music. And the way I achieved the randomness, it's not, it's not actually truly random, but like there, like there's like some like variety of loop lengths. So like I think there's a handful of, like you know, like I have like a 16 bar loop on the bass and organ, but the trumpet plays 24 bars. So like there's just varying loop lengths. So it creates this longer arrangement. Um, and then the vocals are only, there's an eight bar loop, but they're playing a randomized set of syllables that I recorded. I was going for a kind of an Animal Crossing kind of a sound. 
And I'm feeling pretty good about it. So this is my voice, pitched up. I feel like we could just sit and listen to that in a loop for this whole stream, but let's not do that. Um, so, so that was just like this kind of like uh, idea of the uh, background audio that I had. Um, but you know, like 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 we were saying, like we don't have a storyboard for this. We don't even have a concept aside from diner, two characters. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like. Like with any production where it's like you're you're choosing from like a broad set of potential things, you know, like as you make choices, it like narrows down your like range of potential choices, if that makes sense, you know? So like, uh, what I mean by like, so we have like two like duck characters now. And so like any choice we make is going to be predicated on whether or not it makes or it's going to be judged by whether or not it makes sense with those characters, right? So, like, whatever, however these characters sound, like, is going to be related to how they look, right? But then also, you know, like, you can take that a step further and be like, oh, like, are we trying to do world building here? Like, <laughs> is, this weird, is this just, like, a funny Animal Crossing tune that we're putting in the background of this animation? Or, like, do these characters live in a world where everyone speaks like that? You know, I don't know yet. Ah. I hadn't actually thought about that until I was saying it just now, but it sounds smart. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I'm thinking, like, you know, we were kind of debating, like, oh, what, what kind of sounds do we want these characters to make? You know, like, like we thought, like, oh, maybe we'll, like, have them speak to, you know, they're, they're like, rendered so differently, you know, like, like, maybe, like, Jay's character speaks normally. And norm, maybe normally for this world is like that song. Um, and then maybe my character does something else. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so we were like talking about like ideas for like ways to make like uh, character dialogue that's like a little weirder or wackier. Um, and so like uh, maybe we can demo like a couple different thoughts that I have about that. Uh, so there's like there's like three immediate things that come to mind. I'm like, oh, like making some weird character thing. Uh, like aside from just doing a voice or like just recording my own voice. Um, and that is manipulating the pitch or format content. Uh, doing this uh, sort of fake simlish Animal Crossing style thing. And I also wanted to like demo, uh, I thought it'd be fun to demo the uh, Twin Peaks uh, backwards talking effect. Mm. Um, because that effect is super funny and fun and really weird. Uh, and it, cr it creates this sort of like uncomfortable uncanniness, which I feel like uh, my character model sort of has going on. <laughs> Definitely. You, you think so? Just just a little. His eyes aren't even like part of his head. They just kind of float. Man, don't be so hard on him, Jay. He's, <laughs> he's, ha he's, had it he's clearly had it rough, you know. Clearly. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, oh man. Yeah, just like, that was so, outside. so funny look, looking in on this weird guy. Oh, the lighting effects are cool, though. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure how I want this to go in terms of what I think would make a cool final product, but I have an idea of what would make a funny final product. So um, to make that like singing, uh, like KK Slider sound, I basically like did a bunch of like, I sang a bunch of C notes. Uh, if y'all go back and watch the stream, if you don't believe me, <laughs> why would I lie to you though? Um, uh, where so I like I just sang like we pulled out some random song lyrics and I just like skipped through and just read random words and then sang them all at the same pitch, which makes it really easy to work as a MIDI instrument. Um, we may or may not want to do that here. Like I'm thinking about like um, inflection, right? So like. 
if I'm trying to convey some like meaning, like, you know, my, my voice is like pitchy. If you imagine the contour of my speaking, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. That's I'm trying to keep your attention <laughs> by not speaking monotonously. It's like what we do we're, to be engaging as like, or like, you know, public speaking or whatever you call this. So um, I, I want, I probably want these characters to not be like, but maybe, maybe we do. I don't know. Do we mm. want that, Jay? <laughs> I mean, probably not like too much. Like, enough that we can, um, enough that we can like lip sync to, you know, have yeah. some form of lip sync. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So you want to sync? Do you want to do sync to this dialogue though? Is that how? Is that the? Yeah. So I'll like whatever dialogue you come up with, I'll do, uh, you know, sync the character's mouth so it looks like they're talking. Cool. Yeah. So I think you know, like, like I'm not really sure what I want them to say because I don't know what they're doing yet. Right, you know, <laughs> uh, and so like, like there, there's like a certain amount of like scripting that would come into play if they were gonna say real words. Right, right. If we want to go like the simlish route, uh, we could, uh, like that's a that's a little simpler, right? We can do something like the song, where where I probably I probably wouldn't sing all the words, but I might say the same words in a similar inflection and kind of speak all the syllables in a kind of monotone right <laughs> so that then i could go in and use the pitch so remember what i did is i like i randomly selected syllables and then uh i used the pitch to like uh perform a melody so we can use that same thing to like get a pitch element to our speech right da, 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 da. it's so hard to find a newspaper texture <laughs> Why is it such a difficult thing to do? I feel like this character is probably like reading like, like, I don't know, like the Facebook homepage, like <laughs> somehow on a folded up piece of paper or something, something, something like or like maybe not, maybe like, like, uh, like a dead journal. Do you remember dead journal? Dead journal. Jay, are you, are you old enough to know about dead journal? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it doesn't sound familiar. You know about live journal, right? Uh, the live. Live journal, like dot com. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you were if you were cool, and t if you were too goth for Live Journal, there was a clone of that site called Dead Journal. <laughs> Interesting. I had a Dead Journal. Yeah, I was too goth. I see. I see. Uh, someday I'll bring in pictures of me from high school. <laughs> It'll be really sure. Funny. Everybody would love to see that on the screen. <laughs> I look a lot. I kind of I resemble this character somewhat, except I wore more black. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, anyways, so um, I, I'm talking through this idea, but I'm realizing I'm not convinced that it's actually going to work, so maybe we should try it out. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a good old test while I try to find uh, Yeah, so... Um, a newspaper. So, like, I'm going to... What? So I guess I kind of want to come up with, like, a sort of a general voice for this guy, right? Does he talk like this? Or does he talk like this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a character. I'm not a voice actor. I'm not a char character actor or anything. So this works. I, I just make noises and record myself doing it. So let me get a little gain set up over here. I have my trusty M3. It's fine. I'm going to make it a nice and bright. Take the windscreen off because we're not outside. So when I'm using this mic without a windscreen, this like things can get a little poppy. You know, like I'm inclined to like pop my P's or B's, like weird things can happen. And then like things can get breathy too. So I'll like try and get off axis from this thing. So I've still got it pointed at my mouth, but I'm not shooting my airflow directly at it now. So it should sound a little cleaner. There Good. Go. Huh? Oh yeah, go. totally. Like a newspaper? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I need to come up with something to read. So... Let's do that. What should I read? Um, I'm going to read from the Ableton manual. Um, Jay, pick a number between 1 and 819. Uh, 777. That's a great number. <laughs> Why is it hard to find that? Okay, here we go. 777. Ah. What a great page. A frozen arrangement track with a reverb tail. This is exciting. 
So I, I think like for this like simlish kind of vibe, right? Uh, I'm going to uh, just break everything down into syllables and say individual syllables. Um, and then we'll reassemble and it'll probably come together in some sort of vaguely, I don't know, some, something that sounds like language. <laughs> I'm just watching my character lean in intently at this <laughs> newspaper. This is so funny. I don't think I'm going to do much hand motions, so... Can I just uh, say that I really love that it's, like, mirrored on the back? Oh, the same thing. Like, exactly. I think that's hilarious. Yeah, it just projects... Um, oh, it projects right through the texture. Kind of yeah. Thing. That's awesome. So. Oh, and so that's how you easily get... Wow, that's so cool how... Yeah. It really just takes two layers to make it feel 3D, right? Yeah, I mean, but, I could add a little bit of a... Um, uh, there's a... It's called a solidify modifier, although it is paper, so you know I'm thinking that it's paper thin. But uh, you know, for that little extra bit, oh hey, you yeah. can see, you know, it adds a bit. But I will probably want even you know less than that, which is pretty. Yeah, it's like you could probably I probably get the actual thickness of a piece of paper and type it in there, but you know, you can barely even tell. You have to get in close and sort of see. But I'm curious now. How thick is a sheet of paper? 0 0.004 inches. Uh, so that's a 0 0.05 millimeters. 0 0.05? Millimeters. Okay, 0 0.05 millimeters. I think I can probably, 0 0.05, I think I can type. Yeah, there we go. It's, that's the actual. Height and realism. Thick in, thickness <laughs> thickens of the newspaper. Wow, look at that edge. Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah, you it's it's not worth the extra <laughs> Definitely not render. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not worth it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read uh, from this section of the Ableton reference manual on freezing tracks. Um, okay. Uh, and away we go. So yeah, we'll just see what happens here. Frozen. Uh, range meant view tracks will play back any relevant material extending beyond the lengths of their Clips. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, rather than just simply pull this into a new simpler, I am going to recreate that whole thing so you can see how I did it. Uh, so this is like a, you know, this is definitely a musician hacking their way into sound design sort of an idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my drop my thing here into a new simpler. I'm not sure what happens. I haven't actually tried this particular workflow, so I'm curious what happens if I slice it here. Well, no, I don't want to do this. That's too clumsy. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna convert this to sampler right away. So uh, and I'm gonna normalize it so you can see. Cool. We don't need any of that stuff at the beginning or end either. So we, I don't know if we can, oh, we can crop it. Great, cool. So here we are. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Okay, so here we are. We've got our samples. Um, so what does it sound like we're playing with these? Cool. So we're getting sort of fro 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 frozen fro 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 frozen okay so uh now we're going to get out our zone selector and we're going to like duplicate these things i forget i thought that there was maybe a faster way to do this but i don't know this is actually seems pretty efficient this thing's snapping to something isn't it snap off thank you Bros, 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 bros,
That that sounds exactly like. Uh, did you ever play the banjo and kazooie games? Oh yeah. The uh, the book that talks that sounds like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it sounds just like that. The 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 magic book that teaches you uh, spells and stuff in uh, in banjo. Oh yeah, totally. So. Um... The way I approached this last time, like it was kind of like a clumsy method, but I'm gonna do it, I think I'm gonna approach it like this here. So uh, I've got the chain selector open in in, uh, in sampler, and basically like for, I'm, I'm duplicating the chain and I'm just like selecting the, the next, the next syllable. And, oh yeah, wait a minute though, I don't wanna do this with velocity here though, I wanna do this with, what do I wanna do? How do I want to do this? I'll think about this for a second. <laughs> I gotta be smart. Um, so I want control over the. Do I want? I'm, I'm trying to decide. Do I want random words, right? Um, and I think I do. Uh, and so that is what I want then. So I need to be able to like, to test this thing out, I need a velocity sensitive input device. So, excuse me for a moment. <laughs> Walking over here. Sensitive. Grabbing one of these. Device. Walking on back. Get my MIDI keyboard out. So uh, just so I can test this thing and have it work right, um, I need to be able to send a variety of velocity levels so the typing keyboard ain't cutting it. So uh, I'm choosing this method. Um, I mean, there's a few different ways you could do this, but uh, I'm choosing this method because I think it'll be uh, natural. It'll be good for the random words thing. Um, if I wanted to select the words manually, I could map the words to specific keys and use like the pitch bend wheel for, for the pitch or something like that, but uh, I don't really think I want to do that. So um, let's see. Probably Frozen. Frozen. Fro frozen. 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 So I thought I had like, I, f I feel like it was faster. Like I had some workflow for getting this like on the selector that was faster than this last time. I don't remember how I went about it actually. It's pretty hard to like manually like trigger all those velocity values. So um, I may end up bringing the uh, the sort of velocity selection stuff that I used, or the the randomizing MIDI effects that I used on the last one over here. Something weird is going on here. What's that? I'm not quite sure, uh, but I think that this object is going to be deleted. Oh, the door is doing something weird? Yeah. Grab this. So I'm just trying to do this as quick as I can. Uh, I, I wish this was a faster way to automate this. Um, well, we could, you know what, we could try, uh, we could just, uh, let me just see what slicing it does for us. Let's just see. I'm kind of curious. Like maybe we can get, like, like the thing that I'm doing is like gives us a nice result, but like I'm curious if we can get like a hacky result that's good enough. You know, because who doesn't like a hacky result that's good enough? Play and will. And when. You can really hear the room. Rain, rain. So this is pretty sensitive, right? Like, I, I'm not really like crazy about many of these chop points. 
Um, but uh, we can just go through, uh, rather than try and get this thing to give me a result that I like, we do this, I think this, is this maybe what we did last time? Does this convert to simpler? I'm gonna feel really silly if this is the thing I did, but uh, now that I'm doing this, this feels pretty familiar. Um, so, uh, laugh at me in the chat, please, <laughs> if you uh, would like. Um, if, let me know if this is indeed the way. Jay, did you watch The Mandalorian? Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't I know. The why. first season? Yeah. I can't remember if I watched more. I don't think I watched, uh, maybe I started the second season or something. And... Uh, season two is pretty fun. So, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. Oh yeah, yeah. That's always good. Yeah, I'm extremely, you know, as a as a old school hardcore Star Wars nerd who like read a lot of the expanded universe books, uh -huh. like that kind of a nerd. Uh -huh. uh, I was, you know, I'm extremely skeptical of new Star Wars content. Yeah, and I like the Mandalorian. So, so that's a good good sign. Take it, take that, take it as you will. Back, back, and will, back, 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 place, place. And we call that good. Back, and then rain, trail, fnees, back, will, will, back, will, back, trail, track, track, will, track, right, my outreach, will, rain, raisin. Raisin. Yeah, it really wants to say raisin. Like, <laughs> I'm hearing raisin, yeah? Raisin, 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 just like obsessed with raisins. Okay, that wasn't the trick, so. That's cool. Raisin, raisin, you back, you back, uh, uh, you will rain. So all I really did was, was, uh, was, uh, change, I fixed the door here. I was having some issues with the door. So I think I'm going to have a, at least for this first part, this character is going to walk in. Although the problem is, is I don't really want to show what's outside because there's nothing outside right so i might do another angle yeah instead of trying to like find some some 2d thing right just yeah that makes sense maybe go from a side mm -hmm. maybe even yeah something like this i'm still it's still so cool how well that texture works in the kitchen oh yeah just because it's so far back that the parallax isn't like, <gasps> yeah it's pretty cool looks good um well rain so track rain let me let me play animating my camera let i like this so i'm going to save me this <laughs> as a me let me angle ten ya back le and test ya le back and play ten rest two and track le my back my you yon x ten 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 me l okay, i got i got the word meal Meal. Ten meow. Meow. Rose will me. My will and zen. Ramen. Less. Ra will. Ra fee. Ra and. Ra and. Ra le. Ma. Ra and. Ra and. Ra and. You can't even say ramen. Ra and. Ra and. Fee. Fee will. Will fee. Back. Bent. Back knee. Knee. Back. Bent. Ra and. Le. Back place. To play. And. I'm gonna show this end of the door. I wanna make sure that the handle's there on the other side too. I might try another, I'm just gonna see if I get a better result with a different set, like a data set, right? Like, cause this whole thing is like really, oh, why is it turning? This whole thing is really like sounding kind of, it's having a certain kind of a sound. So I'm just gonna like say a bunch of random syllables, I think. Let's just see what happens here. Ha, dri, ah, Spe, no, ra, ta, pe, li, mo, or, dri, sa, po, ten, u, er, s, is, y, ro, pro, lap. And just to see if that gives you anything that makes more sense. Uh, 
you know, it's, it's all like I'm essentially like <laughs> this is uh, I don't want to like, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm using like a weird data set to, to construct a uh, dialogue. So uh, it's just going to come out kind of funny probably. So okay. uh, let's uh, kind of like that one. That works. And then he'll walk by. Um, so you can kind of see if I switch frames how it cuts the next shot. So I've essentially just keyed two frames here for the different camera angles. So I can sort of block out my animation here. So the, here I want him to kind of walk in. Mm -hmm. So I can sort of pose this first, like entering the... <laughs> Definitely sounding like Animal Crossing there. Yeah, so this is a bit better, right? Uh, first, first sample leaves a bit to be desired, doesn't it? There's some weird stuff happening here at the beginning. I forgot I didn't switch this over. Yeah. So <laughs> this is like totally what I wanted. Um, so okay. So I've got my, I've got a transpose and octave up. I've got my little shredder board here, so like I, I've got a uh, pitch pitch bend control here along this side. So as I gesture up, you know, like you can imagine like the contour of your speech, like like if you're, if you're talking and trying to emphasize something. <laughs> I feel like this is getting somewhere, Jay. What do you think about this? Yeah, I I like it. It's it's so bizarre. Like for real. Like it's definitely not like I don't think I would call it good. <laughs> it's not good. But neither is my model. So I think for you, like you're, maybe like maybe this will be the voice of my character model, and maybe we'll put more effort into yours or something. <laughs> we'll like subtitle it and everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll both be subtitled. I think that'll be good. So I feel like this character's maybe got a lower voice than that, though. I'm wondering where my... I know we ran into this before. Hmm. Okay, I'm probably getting really annoying here. Um, so I compared that to this other one that I tried to do. Um, oh no, this one I guess. Like maybe we could use a different one for like a different like phrases or something. Like that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> These are both the same level of transposition. That's interesting. Um, Rain re will run huh. and retracts. Read. Well, no, thank you. Revent ra will rain zen al zen t zen al re le zen. Huh. No, I hope so I feel like I want more randomization in my pitch selection. Will, will, track, the, will, play, 
Bruh. So I'm going to see if I can use this uh, MIDI effect here to limit the range of these notes and give me some full randomization. Something I did made it not work, Must right? Be slant. Reach eleven text will my accent try to rent me will you try and men? Yeah, I don't uh, that's not working right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know which one of these I like better. Do you have a preference, Jay? Do it one more time. So here's one. No or ten or three pro three lap. Ha no ha ha. Okay. And here's the other one. Read the tender. Ending lengths. Um, maybe the second one. Yeah. Okay. So I want to like limit the pitch band range a little bit. Let's see if I, like, can I do that here? Or is it fixed? Oh, you can't do it on this one. You can only do it. You can only do it on simple or sampler, huh? Okay. That's cool. It's not the worst range. I'd like to like have it go higher than it goes low, but that's fine. A legend of plenty you the plush and ding be see ya ding ya me and you ding much. Huh? You stink much. Play range no. Rose 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 rose. Uh, Play rose and you rain me and you rain. So like me, if you like that one better, Jay, I'm gonna try another one. I'm gonna try it with like words instead. Um, like, but let's like find some like weird dialogue. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, like perhaps the B movie script. <laughs> Can you find that? Of course. Find anything you want on the old internet. Actually, you know what? Uh, your sounds more fun than this. Well, whatever. We've got it. What's what's like? Uh, we'll do the movie script. Why? Um, here we go. According to all known laws of aviation. There is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. <laughs> of course, flies anyway, because don't care, humans think is possible. So, like, me, uh, like... Again, you know, this, this is kind of an experiment, like, uh, just to see what gets us a uh, uh, best result uh, here. Uh. Tracks, tracks. Tracks. Sounds like an ad for shoes. Recording to. Recording, avoiding, aving. <laughs> Here. So yeah, there is two cording, cording, cording. According, according, according. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's interesting, like this this is a little more challenging than according to all known laws. Laws of Avi avi aviation aviation there there is no there is no, no what kind of laws of aviation are there is no way way that 
Is this Mimi enough for everyone? <laughs> so it's should he just are walk in and sit wings. down? It's like he it's wings here? are too small. Too sm yeah, totally. Like they know each other. Like, sm like they're coming for a meeting sm here. Small. Sm You've been waiting. Small. For them? Small. Yeah, that works for me. Small. Right. Get two. Two. Get. 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 So what I'm doing here is essentially assigning my key poses, get, get, um, and I don't need get, like, it, I really just need to get like the framing down, fat, so I can go, <laughs> you know, first shot, second shot, little, and I'll go the third shot, and then I'll fill in body. the gaps essentially. Off the ground, off the gr off the ground, <laughs> off the ground, off the ground. Ground. Oh my gosh, there's doors closed. In this there's area. a lot of words in here. It's worth it though. I think this is maybe gonna give us the best result. So maybe like the characters, like each like like their dialogue is like chopped up from like lines of something stupid. You know, like maybe your character speaks lines from Shrek or something. <laughs> you know, sure. Ground. Of course. Of 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 course. Course flies flies anyway. Don't because care care human human humans humans think 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 is is is. All right, memes galore. Okay, that was tedious, but there's a lot of words, so we'll get a lot of variety out of this one. So I want to bring in the randomization for sure. Like, just makes it feel like more like something. Core fat core the of anyway because because possible. Anyway, think core off don't body. Don't don't humans think it's too small to to a fly no e that should a b should should to that fly laws to fly it's there anyway all that a that is record according there law to according according a according there way e able laws wings a v law are to that b law a there no no is that is <laughs> whoops that swoosh, I made a mistake there I'm not supposed to move that swoosh, I think I did. Oh man. Okay, now. Okay. okay, I don't like the reverse version. That's uh, pretty weird. Um, let's see what. It's should are should it's should it should it should it should it should be body body it to be are fly to to able get e a it's able ground according to all <laughs> ground fly e wing it's body the course fly wings are 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 are, are fly to be little a <laughs> a gray too small it's e it's body the a a shade of oh. okay so I'm having a thought as I'm like dinking around doing this like. Mm -hmm. I feel like I sort of have to, we have to know enough about what they're saying in order for me to like give them some sort of emotion, right? So like, maybe it's something about off. him being late. Because like off. his plate, I'm not going to make food and stuff, so it kind of looks like he's already eaten. So maybe the, his friend shows up late. Uh, and uh, he 
you know, wonder, he's like upset that he's late. Totally. Uh, and then a body. Maybe it's just a conversation there that he thought it was a different time or he thought he was supposed to be there, you know, an hour before, or like mm-hmm. at that time. So that's yeah. why he showed up Small. at that time. Fat and shit. then they just kind of get in an argument about that. Get fat, get fat body. So he's, get he's gonna fat be... off ground. <laughs> Are it's it's get it's fat it's little it's the ground. <laughs> ground. <laughs> it's fly. Fly. Two, two. It's it's fly. I feel like I want some atmosphere in this. Accord according no way. Two a way aviation laws is known known way no way b b b b b should should b b of way is should all no navy known known. Like I feel like that would be like you know like b b no b b that b a able small r b should all. You know, but like we could also like do the full Twin Peaks dialogue thing too. Like if we're gonna come up with something that they're saying, like, oh hey, like where were you? You know. Yeah. Where have you been? You know. Uh. Hey man, where you been? Or or something like that. Right. You go. And then reverse it and. Yeah. Oh. I got some weird playback here. Yeah. Anyway, body to body. Hey man, where have you been? Try try a little slower because you have to like actually take your time with these. Uh, hey man, where have you been? So you take that, you reverse it, and you listen to it. Nah, we fail. Nah, we, we fail. Hey man, hey man. There you go. Nah, we fail. Hey man, hey man. Ask me fail. Hey man. Yeah, we fail. And, and, and we fail. Yeah, we fail. And we fail. Yeah, we fail. And we fail. <laughs> like, it's so silly, but I have to straight up imitate it. Yeah, we fail. And I me. And we fail. Hi, me. And we fail. Hi, me. <laughs> Oh, hey, man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to keep experimenting with this because this is like, this is super fun and weird. So this is how they did all the backwards talking in uh, Twin Peaks. Uh, I won't say any more about that because it's, I guess, minor spoilers, but, um, you know. Hey, man, you're late. Hey, man. You're late. Seal dirty. Nah, me. Seal dirty. Seal dirty. Seal. Seal dirty. Seal dirty. Nah, me. Nah, me. Seal dirty. Nah, me. Seal dirty. Nah, me. Oh my God. Seal dirty. Nah, me. Seal dirty. Nah, me. I'm putting a lot of in there. Hey, man. Here's noise. Oh, man. Seal dirty. Seal dirty. I don't want my lights or I don't want this to be selectable. There we go. Here's noise. Ah! Oh! Hey man, you're. Hey man, you're lights. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my character definitely speaks in this voice. I think. I feel like your character has a different voice. Like I think it's gonna be weird if they ha- if if they s- like my my like character like exists in some uncanny other plane. That, you know. Right. Steel. Hey man. Your voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, like what else? Like you know, like I've like I've been here for hours or something like that. I'm just gonna come up with a bunch of lines. Yeah, yeah. 
year of the league. It's interesting. I've been waiting for you for hours. For hours. I've been waiting for you for hours. <laughs> Sir why Earl Sir why Earl Sir why Earl Earl Sir why Earl who you're off needy when it fell oh my gosh Sir why Earl Sir why Earl Sir why Earl Earl who you're off who you're off yeah who you're off I want this to be I haven't messed with the volume much, but you can do some cool stuff just to kind of build like make an atmosphere. I feel like maybe my glass is not uh I've been waiting is not the best you that it can be. Hours. Remember I <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Do it one more time? Okay. Hey man. Here boy. I've been waiting for you for <laughs> hours. For <laughs> hours. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're doing now? Is that they are we actually voice acting these characters? I don't know, man. It feels right. Yeah. For for my character. I don't know if you want yours to be like that though. Uh, like like I, I feel like I should let you you know, uh, I wanna let I wanna let you decide on the parameters of your character's voice a bit. Okay. Like I'm happy to execute it um uh, for, for time's sake, but like, you know, like do you want a similar thing? Do you want a reverse voicing? Like I like the I like the the Simish store style. Okay. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool. I mean, he can have either way. Um, we can, you know, but if you can, like, you know, do a cool reverse pitch shift and hey, thing. Hey man, I think it'd be waiting. pretty cool too. I've been waiting. Waiting. <laughs> waiting. <laughs> waiting. I have a I have a friend. I have a good friend who uh, has has. Who's Israeli and, and uh, so we, there's a lot of a lot of in our in our conversation. A lot of we bring bring in the the Hebrew pronunciation where it don't belong. Uh, I've been waiting for you for hours. For hours. <laughs> it's just so it's just so funny, and the, like okay, so. I don't know what's hey, happening man. here. Here's the least. I've been waiting for you for four hours. And then your character responds. <laughs> nope. That's not, that's not. Too short. It's wings is too body I've small. I've got to, I've got to, I got to stick these eyes a little Wait, further should. in. Small of body. Gonna... All ways. It's a way that way is way. a fly. Let's fat too. It's is a V known way. A core all able. Course fat wing that small. Okay. It is that it's like, he's not quite put together for some reason. Is that too high pitched for your character's voice? Um, I, I would bring it lower probably. Because I feel like as. Um, let me. I gotta find. I feel like those randomization settings I had on the actual thing were so nice. Oh, I did it with velocity. That's why it's so nice. That's right. There's there's not the similar range of options. I like how the stream is just us griping now about our the random features, you know. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. This. It's two a two no a b small there b b there that get there each ground b way b a b core two two b a b two of is a b that a b are according of way two wings should b way no law no there. Or maybe this guy's got a low voice like. 
Yeah, yeah, I like the love. A bitch. Of a fight. I like that. Fable B is I also boring. like it's not bad. A, no, I think I just don't like the windows. The I'm like, like, while I'm setting this up, I'm, you know, sort of I, uh, figuring uh, like to how I want these. I had a, what was I working on that I had a different glass shade? Uh, oh, I know. Uh, I was doing the, the Mars uh, Studio stuff and I, uh, let me see if I can append that. Um, I feel like that one's not working. Well, well, fusion, zen, 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 Menzen Rose Men Tracks Ding View Play Will Ding Will View Back A T L A Trap Flex X And Banks Will Tracks Tag And And Play And Ma Will Young Yeah, that's a little better. Still not as reflective as I'd want, but Play Men Trap Men Hmm. I think like I'm gonna try. I don't know. Like I feel like it's not quite working for me. No. Maybe let's just like give him the straight up KK's voice and <laughs> yeah. Or and then like like just have curiosity. Did you try? Um, didn't you do the phonetic thing? Did Did you try the? Phonetic I tried the phonetic thing? one too. Yeah, but I think like what it is is like it's 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 the pitch shifting. It's my. I'm trying to make it sound less like my voice because the other character is gonna sound like my voice too. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so like you, so maybe let's see if we can get some dialogue happening. Hey man, you're late. I've been waiting for <laughs> you for hours. Let's go. Ha 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 ha. No. S a four ho spe. Mo a he four a he pro y er. A <laughs> shot, reverse shot. So you see, I'm still like following. Uh, uh, for those of you that have been watching uh, down uh, here in the corner, uh, uh, I got a few like uh, the same camera rules uh, that apply in real life uh, uh, that no, are, you know, uh, used in real life apply in 3D. So I'm trying not to cross this, sort of working my way. The camera generally stays about. Now we got reference to where it was. Yeah, it's pretty solid. So if I do this reverse shot, I want to uh, do the other corner. <laughs> so I'm going to take for shot five. I'm going to do from this way. 
Snacks a little. Ha 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 ha. I like that. I want that laugh in there somewhere. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna laugh like that. I feel like I feel like my character needs to say something funny. It's like that's that's not a good that's not a reasonable reaction. Like so maybe he says he's like, hey man, where you been? I waited for you for hours. For hours. Then he laughs. <laughs> there you go. That's like so. Yeah, we got some hot dialogue going. <laughs> Cutting. So hey man, you're late. I've been waiting for <laughs> you for hours. No, as a mortal spell. Could you could you make it that deep but speed it up? Yeah. I so that it like he says it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> Yeah, that'll be good. So I've got a few shots here. We might try to time these out. Normally, I would probably go through and like do the whole. Um, uh, I mean, this could essentially be the animation, and we can, you know, we can add more to it. Um, but this would be. I feel like we've. Maybe he says your character has something in response, and then that could be like our animation because this is already going to be, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a lot, but we have the background music. We've got the dialogue. Um, and then we'll have like footsteps and other diner noises, um, and then like sitting on the cushion, and then the newspaper. So there's already a lot in this scene. Yeah, totally. So we can do. Let's call it with that. How about we do like a, a he responds with something, and then I want to do the laugh at the end. Yeah, totally. So what's what's his response? Like what uh, what is your character saying here? You know. Like, so okay, so you've been late for hours. So he's got to say something. Uh, something that can, he can your character can respond with something funny with. Yeah. Um, um, gosh, what's a? You know what actually might be funny is like if he like says the like, like is there like 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 he says like something that's like the punchline to a joke, but you, that never you you never heard the setup. Do you know what oh, I mean? Right. You know, I'm trying, trying to think of like. <laughs> The punchline of, oh, okay, so like he had a joke, like an inside joke kind of thing, or like something mm -hmm. he had told him earlier, and it's like, you're late. So I'm says, trying to think of just like, like a, I, I'm trying to think of like a really dumb punchline with no setup, like, uh, <laughs> like dinner, I hardly knew her, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, like just something so dumb, like, uh Maybe... So if your character says, oh, I've been waiting for hours, and then the character sits down, or he's sitting down, he says, uh, I guess you could do something like that, like hours. I was at the something mm -hmm. for hours or something. I was stuck in traffic for hours. And then maybe your character will say something like that. Uh, that could be. I was stuck in traffic for hours. And then... Traffic. I hardly knew her. Traffic. <laughs> Say that backwards. It might sound funny. <laughs> and then he. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. No, okay. No, that's a little uh, dirty, though. <laughs> yeah. That's not. That's not the one we're going for. <laughs> but we could do something with the traffic, just like um. You know, I, I, I would have been here earlier if 
my car hadn't broke down. I guess I would say like orange. You glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> <laughs> In reverse, he's like. And he just laughs, ha, ha, Yeah, ha, ha, ha. ha. Yeah, I think, I think that, I, I, okay, I, this is what we're doing. I think that's so uncomfortable. It's just like, just like, a, like, a, like, it's like a dialogue written by an AI or something. Yeah, exactly. you know? We could probably actually get a dial, some dialogue written by an AI. Could? That didn't even occur to me. Log. That's Okay, I'm just going to record this real quick because I like this idea. Log. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> I'm already cracking up. Oh my god. Okay, what does it sound like? Hanandum. 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 Yes. Yes. Hanandum. Yes. This yeah. This yeah. This yeah. This yeah. This yeah. Hanandum. Yes. Hananub, he is this snap. Hanana, he is snip nap. He is this nap. This nap. This nap. <laughs> this is just like dialogue. This nap. Generates random this lines. This is interesting. This nap. Find a random dial, line. Dial, 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 a few lines of dialogue. Adao hui. Try that again. Adao hui. I was making sure you weren't dead since you never Schnirl. How much do you value your life? Schnirl. Thank you for knowing. For secrets. Orange. He would. I see. Save. Anana. This might come out <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! Orange. Oh Orange. Uh, he what? I see. Save. Anana. Anana. <laughs> um, Why have I never done this before? This is funny. He what? I see. Save. Do you, you got some dialogue though? Check out the oh this will give you the line check out this uh this dialogue a random dialogue generator. Um you can generate a few different lines. Might be a good uh good way to get some I think the one I sent you is probably gonna be uh generated here, I'll read it to you. Uh it, 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 I think I don't think they have any correlation to each other, but it might make for a funny, uh, just like uh, uh, random, you know, funny joke in there somewhere. I think it. Oh no, I didn't come up with it. I got. Uh, I was making sure you weren't dead since you never call. How much do you value your life? <laughs> this place seems strangely familiar. No more lies. No oh, yeah. more secrets. Oh, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> just. just Whatever, like... That's perfect, yeah. Oh, here's what we got. <laughs> hey, man. You're late. You're late. I've been waiting for you for hours. No. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. It got doubled up here. Uh, Orange. He what? I see. Say banana. Ha 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 ha. Oh man. <laughs> what is this? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. This like. But this is how you learn how to do this stuff. Yeah. Right? Or you learn? I guess this is how you learn to do something. Hey, man. <laughs> I mean, all these all these ideas, uh, you know, they apply if you were actually, you know, creating something. So I guess Jay, we, we're actually creating something. Yeah, I guess it's so. it's a thing of beauty. Um, so I guess with the dialogue now we have our timing, which is great, um, at least for the um, these shots. So I can actually like start planning this out. I can say, okay, um, uh, if we. I guess you could actually, if you wanted to, um, 
Well, it'll probably be better. I don't know if I... I think I could do multiple layers of the audio in Blender. Um, so, like, if you had that set up with just the dialogue, I can plug that in and then can work on the other, like, sound cues as I'm, you know, animating to the dialogue kind of Yeah, thing. you want me to, like, just bounce this out? Yeah. So, so let's just, like, listen to it and see if it feels natural. Okay. <laughs> natural? Hey, man. You're the least. I've been waiting for you for hours. No. Well, he needs to. He needs a full pause for a response. Yeah, for I think in the hours. No. Orange. He what? I see. Say banana. Ha ha ha. Banana. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Could you make your character like talk a little faster, maybe? Hey, don't rush this poor guy. <laughs> yeah, um, it's just like part part of this. Yeah, part so of the style of the of that thing is like they're really awkwardly slow. Yeah, hey, man. Elite. Hey, man. Here's the leap. Maybe yeah. Maybe. Well, it's there, not. there, there. Just give me a second. There's a, there's a smoother algorithm. Oh, okay. Uh, let's try Complex Pro. Well, Complex is probably fine. Hey, man. You're the least. He's a little, uh, low. Yeah, maybe a little. Hey, man. Doesn't have his... Hey, man. Bleeps. Hey, man. You're the least. Hey, man. You're... Hey, man. Hey, man. You're the least. I've been waiting for you. For hours. <laughs> I, I really like that second line, but the first one feels. Could I you pitch him down to like the other character? For so hours. not so he's like as close, but since he's talking in a different style, I don't know if it will sound. Orange. <laughs> you want you want these the the. My character to lower? Though? Yeah, a little bit. Like in pitch or volume? In pitch. Let's see. Hey, man. You're the least. Hmm. I've been waiting for you for hours. I feel like the second line is is uh, is different, almost. Hey, man. You're... I've been waiting... Hey man, is it just me that I'm hearing like it's? It seems that one seems higher pitched than yeah, the you're probably right. second hey one. Hey man, so maybe instead of pitching them all down, we'll just pitch that first one down. Hey man, hey man, hey man, hey man. I've been waiting. <laughs> hey man, hey man, you're the least. I've been waiting for you. Four hours. Actually, maybe just having the second line and not the first line. He doesn't even acknowledge him. He just yeah. like in this scene I've when he pulls the newspaper down, for you. he just says, "I've been waiting for you for hours." Hey man, I've been waiting. Well, I gotta try. You. I gotta try doing the hey man line again. Actually. Okay. Hey man, you're the least. So that's I, I like. Three. I like that he would just pull down the, nose, the newspaper and not acknowledge that he oh, yeah. shows up and just be like, I've been waiting for you. Okay, yeah, hours. let's do it then. Yeah, I think, I think that will work. I've been waiting <laughs> yeah. for you for hours. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think that will work. No. Then it will cut to this, and he'll like put his hands up and explain. And then we'll have to cut back to, I guess we, I'll need a few more shots here. So it will then come back to. Okay. And then one more time, it will cut back to. Oh, I think probably do like a. I might do. And then. <laughs> okay, here I'm gonna export you a little chunk of audio. Okay. Uh, a little wave file. So you know, like in the finalized version, like we might end up with like a different actual chunk of audio, but uh, like actually, so I want to think about like a, I want to be smart about this workflow. Mm -hmm. Um, so because I want to be able to like re if I want to do something to this, I want you to be able to just like a, have a drop-in replacement, you know? Right. 
So as long as the timing of yes. those stays the same, exactly, so, I'll be able to. So, so, so yeah, there. you just got to be smart about this kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is just create locators around these so that I I export the exact same region every time. And then PCM wave would probably give you 16 bit. It don't matter. And this is going in. Where do we have this project? This is Welcome to my chaotic file organization. Yeah, if it, if it's able to send over Discord, I'll. Uh, yeah, it's, it'll be a little little bitty. Uh, perfect. Little bitty file, so no big deal. Okay, this will be the laugh, and then it will be over. I like that his his mouth already, the bottom part of his mouth or his beak there, already is kind of. You can see how it's. Uh, uh, yeah, oh yeah, it kind of folds back with the model. Yeah, because it's when it when you do the automatic uh, automatic bone weights, it kind of just takes an area around the bone and assigns it to that. Uh, you know, the weight based on that. So since his neck bone was so close to his mouth, it took part of that as a, mm -hmm. so this will be the laugh. I'm just gonna take that pose right there. So. Uh, you should have the file. Okay, cool. The file. <laughs> Download. Okay, so I should be able to, as simple as um, adding, going to, there's another timeline editor called the video sequencer and this should just drag and drop right in here Yep, and then if I play it um, Although I don't know if you guys are gonna have my audio So I don't think Corey you might I don't know if you'll have my desktop audio either. Let's find out, but I can line this up with frame one and then if I play it, um, so the weird thing is this, I don't know why Blender doesn't put all the timeline, I don't know why all the timeline editors don't have play buttons. I wish they did. That's really bizarre. Um, I think there is a shortcut, but I like the buttons. So I could I can switch this over to the timeline so I can see my, um, here's my, uh, see, yeah, that's right. I can see all my um, frames here. I can play this. Oh, it's coming out the TV. Oh, you can hear it on the TV? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. How do I switch that? Um, let me Where? save this project and then open it again. Because I think I opened it before I switched my source. So mm -hmm. it might be that it's... Uh, there it is. Load in all the... I know you could, you could hear it out of the TV. Oh yeah, I can hear it now. <laughs> okay, so I know I can hear it, and I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. I might have to... See the only thing, the only problem with this is I loop. If I loop it back around, um, then we'll have uh, we'll have uh, issues with the. Let me switch our screen. Hold on. Let's see. Oh wait. Let's see. I'll move our screens around here. Let's see if we can see this again. Um. OBS, stop. <laughs> um, oh, OBS. It's always something. Okay. Um, there we go. Let's do that and then transition. Okay. Um, so, I don't know if I can play back my audio. Because I'm monitoring the stream, this is a whole. This is the restriction of me running the stream on the same computer that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. Is that I, you know, so 
eventually I'll figure out a solution to that. Uh, but that kind of requires a whole nother computer. We'll probably have to like redo the setup for the tail end of this series then. Possibly, yeah. Just so like. Um, but or, hopefully we could, there, there's possibility that um, if we have someone running the stream mm -hmm. that I'll be able to set up on my laptop, possibly yeah. you know, do it that way. Uh, but in the meantime, I can start now that I can hear it. And I wonder if I can actually see, I don't remember if I could act, if you can see the waveform here. Um, that would be really wave. helpful. Yeah, I, I thought possibly there was a way. I honestly don't work with audio in here very often. Oh, fun. Um, so this would be kind of a learning experience. Um, I could have sworn there was a way to turn it on. Um, there probably is, and it's just a matter of finding it. But it's got a whole sequence editor. This is also for like video clips as well. So like the, the video edit, there's like full on video editing capabilities in Blender. So if you were doing like a, like a track, tracking video stuff, this is where you drop your video. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Um, so the tracks are all, so I can trim it down if I needed to, but it should be perfect. So if I play, So I can hear it. Let me, let me check, let me look this up real quick. Um, how to display the waveforms. There is a way to do it. It's a 10 second video. This is what I like. 10 seconds, huh? Sound and, oh, that's super easy. I just need to know where the button was. There's yeah. always secret stuff in this panel. There it is. Yeah, right, screaming at you. But so there's just so, it's so visually dense. And how would you find that? You know? right. I can pull this. There we go. So now I can see. So I know that I want this first frame to be because he's gonna walk over. So there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be some time in between these. I'm gonna make sure that. I wonder if my poses are going to come over. I don't think they will. I go into object mode. Um, I'm just going to time the cameras right now and then I'll move the poses around. So here I've got my different camera angles. You can see if I go to, uh, actually that did not do anything because that was the wrong. Put those back. I don't know what those were. I think that was probably the, po the rig here. Here's my camera. So I can just scale these out too. It scales based on where your playhead is. Mm -hmm. So if it's like right here, I'll scale um, away from it. So the camera's actually gonna like try to move around. See how it's like flips around mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's a great animation for you guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like uh, very much. Uh, Pretty exciting. Um, it reminds me of the. Films that people make in in um, in uh, Source Filmmaker. The camera very much like flies everywhere, <laughs> so I don't want that to happen. I want this to like change when the camera changes. So I'm gonna for now put in the uh, constant. So I just right clicked and did interpolation mode and constant. Uh -huh. So it just, it just until changed. it hits that spot. Yeah, it doesn't change until it hits that marker. I guess I didn't. I didn't apply his uh, his uh, fixes. That's interesting. Oh, because it's the last pose he was in. So, like, I have to scale. I have to go back and scale my poses back to where my camera is. But I'm gonna line up the cameras first because oh, I I know yeah. for a fact that that's you know I I know where those are gonna. So many gonna variables. I know, right? So wow. I gotta think about this. How long do I want it to take him to walk to his table? So it's probably like. So da, 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 uh, I might just give myself. Whoops. It's kind of weird sometimes. 
I'm going to select all of this. Grab it. There we go. So we got seconds here. So I'm going to do. Maybe five, six. Seven. That seemed like one, two, three, four, five. Let's get him five seconds. That's weird. It started before I even. There we go. Okay. So let's give him five seconds at the start. Mm -hmm. So I can mark. I think I can. Yeah. So I can see where my my frame is. So that's a frame one hundred fifty. So I can grab these. Move that over. Okay, so let's let's get a feel for that. So we got we got this first frame. It's gonna disappear. So that I feel like that holds on it a little bit too long because we've only got you know he's gonna walk through. He's gonna walk in the door. What about like having it like rotate to follow him like from that same position or something? Oh yeah, we can do that. Like so, that, so it's not it's so static. Have some motion. Yeah, so he doesn't like leave frame or whatever. Yeah, so the only thing is that the next, I don't. Oh, does that like violate that rule or whatever? No, Do you know, you know be... what I'm talking about? The like. Yeah, um, not if it, I can have it subtly move. Let's have it move fairly subtle. So what I'm going to do is right before it changes. So this is how you can change like camera angles. So right before it changes um, frame 150, I'm going to add another keyframe here. Um, and I'm just going to go into walk navigation briefly and maybe move it. I won't go all the way, maybe to like here. Mm -hmm. And then insert location rotation. And then between these two keyframes, I can I can turn back on the, the linear mode if I want to. That's like from frame, that's like... But for each keyframe, that's like it's the setting, like so, like it, how it interpolates between that one and the next one. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So the Bezier is like it starts off slow, yeah, and then it speeds up and then slows down again. Oh, cool. So with linear, you can see it's just gonna mm, pan across. Yeah. So he's gonna walk. Let's get a slow pan, and then it will cut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, this little zoom take. I'm, I'm getting some like Majora's Mask vibes, like zooming in on some like really absurd, freakish model. Yeah. So we got, of course, I'll, I'll position out the models after we do uh, the camera here. So okay, so we've got. I might actually make this cut beforehand. Mm -hmm. This is our next shot. It's going to try to. Go to the next thing here. This one. Whoops. Then cut. I kind of want this to be further before because mm -hmm. I want him to kind of sit down and then he's going to move the newspaper. Yeah. So maybe it pans across, it cuts of this shot, uh -huh. he sits down, and then let's see, then it go, cuts to to this, he's like still sitting down. So let's feel that out here. Oops. So we're going, we cut to the next shot. He sits down, it changes. Yeah, because I want him to start talking right when we get this first. Like he's gonna move the newspaper down in this shot. Mm -hmm. So he'll have the newspaper in front of him and he'll move it down. I don't, I'm, I wonder if I can, Okay, I could have done it this way, huh? Maybe. I want all these keyframes to line up. Oh, these are probably for... I don't know if this lets me do all the rigs. It's going to get a little confusing here. This is the fun part of working with keyframes. Mm. Yeah, there's... Just Stick with the camera for now. Try to do one thing at a time. Yeah, it's unbelievable to me how mm -hmm. many moving parts are. Like, I feel like I lose track of, like, automation stuff in audio. <laughs> and, like, you can, like, usually, like, if you have a big enough display, like, you know, on my big new monitor, like, I can usually see every lane of automation for the whole project at once. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like, a lot, but it's not that many. Whereas, like, there's just so many in here. It's, it, and, and they're, like, hidden from you. 
you know what I mean? Like inside those keyframes. Right. And so it's it's really interesting, like to me. Like our door is already animated. <laughs> See it close? Yeah, totally. Um it comes across, cuts to this one, then the next one. He's just still sitting down, cuts in close, he talks. Perfect view. Okay. And then it in this next shot it cuts to this one. And then um maybe like yeah. Well, it's really weirding me out how those two windows are scaled differently. The, these two? Uh, no, the the bottom two. When you're moving that playhead, how they're 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 scaled. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I want that whole thing to be. I'm gonna have to go outside of my range here. So I know. So he's gonna say. I think I might want to change. Let's change that, and then I might cut on the beginning of his dialogue. So he can for hours. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's good. It it wants to. I gotta set my end frame. I can I can line this up. I think. Yeah. So you see how I can pull the end frame out so that it matches better. There you go. So talks. I've been waiting. For and then we cut. Okay. And then he cuts to that. On the so then he says his line. We need to know that this is the <laughs> okay. So then here's the Okay, <laughs> so that's our animation, 700 frames. Oh man, 700 frames, like 10 hours of work. Yep. Two, it's 20, 20 people hours of work. Yeah. To get to this point. Cuts that. Oh. Obviously, where? if you're if you're better at, what am I talking into this mic? Obviously, if you're better at this uh, than I am, uh, it goes faster. If you have a like this is where like so much of this is like been bogged down in the fact that we didn't have a concept before we started. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and so like we've been like, oh, maybe I'm gonna do this, maybe I'm gonna do that. Like, if we were gonna really do this right, we would have known a lot of these details from the very beginning, and they would have informed a ton of our choices, and we wouldn't have messed around so much. It would have been really, we would have been more goal oriented at every step. Yeah. Um, we would have, this would have been like way planned out. Mm -hmm. Severely ahead of time. Yeah, but you know we're having fun, we're messing around. And I don't want to do this like right on the. He's gonna lower the newspaper down as he's saying four hours. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so <laughs> now that I got my camera pose like in the right spot, so I can kind of get my timing down. He's gonna walk over. He's gonna sit down. I don't know what I. What, oh yeah, that's the camera change. Okay. Uh, he sits down. Might pull that out a little bit. Take that. Turn turn. Might let that hang a little bit, just so it doesn't it doesn't feel as abrupt. For hours. Okay. I might. Um, can I'll you probably... do, can you do a little like zoom, like a zoom, like when he says hours, like for. Do you know um, like how the camera like, oh, kind of like thrust at his face just a little bit? This? Yeah, like after it cuts, like go like boop and then like just maybe oh, yeah. maybe start a smidge zoomed out or something like that four from there. Out. Four, four, and then you can insert. You want okay? Humor me hours. for this effect. Have it like have it come out and then further in. You know, boom. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. So we can key the. Um, we can key the the focal length. Oh, and, and, tight. And, so here, here's our focal length. If I just hit I over this, it keys it. So it should stay 50 until this point. And then once we cut to that shot, it will I can make it look like it zooms out. So maybe like a 40. 
and then just subtle zoom out. So if we play this, yeah. And then hours, and then I can zoom back in uh, right here. Let me probably have to, I have to do a, back to hours, insert location, rotation, and our zoom. So I can zoom out, we'll zoom out. <laughs> oh wait, it's still constant. So I wanna do, I can turn on linear and you'll see now that it should. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it gets a little weird when you do uh, the, um, that's why I have these two keyframes right here to switch between the shot. Uh -huh. So what I want to do is if I want to hold a shot in place, like I just, I want this one to stay here. This kind of, I actually don't really like this angle, but I guess he's going to be like sitting down. Um, Cause he'll be over here and come and sit mm -hmm. down. So I might then, that might be okay. And grab this and shift D to duplicate this uh, keyframe across, and then it will hold that keyframe, and then just switch. I mean. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if I. I kind of actually like this like dolly in. I mean, but maybe then the zoom. Is yeah, it, like it makes less sense. Like the like blowing. Then, so I could probably I can lose that. And then we just get that for you. <laughs> and then it just flips around. So if we got like that one, we're gonna hold on this so I can shift D to duplicate this one out. And then for hours and then switch. And then I want this one to hold, so shift D. Keep that frame there. Here's the line of dialogue. <laughs> can you hear? You can probably hear it through my. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting enough. I'm getting enough bleed to chuckle at it every time. Still, add up. Anana. So this one is gonna switch. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love it. So with that, um, I can now go through and fix my characters. I go into pose mode here. Um, I can. I don't need the the audio as much anymore, but I can do sound just so I can see. What I'm doing. Okay, in pose mode, you can see all the. Actually, I think what I probably want to do. Well, I can see in my camera when it changes, but it might be a good idea to mark. Why can I not get. There we are. Um, oh, it's because they're way back here. Um, I can just scale these out. Just to sort of now I can add the timing but and then you'll see that he'll like he's gonna sort of move so I can time this it's gonna go fast right now I can grab this he's gonna try to trans transition between these different poses mm -hmm. so he walks over in so like that's too slow but there you So you can see, like, he's still moving in this next shot. So you, I can time it here. So here he comes. So he should be way closer by the time that camera cuts. So probably. I mean, I want him to be, like, getting in the booth at this point. So, yeah, you can see how I can. I've, I've keyed out those poses so I can sort of just slide in the, like, time it out. Um, I already have my key poses, so it makes it easier. Push. So he's kind of going fast. Maybe we didn't. Maybe that's a little too. 
He's like rolling in on like wheelie shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the great thing about the. I might do. Um, I'm gonna just like select this whole thing and do the linear. I don't know why linear is not the default. I don't. The bezier is kind of. It's always kind of weird. He walks in. That's still kind of fast. Or I can either speed. I can speed my camera up too because that well. He's probably. Let's see, bust through the door. He's coming over. This is not terribly fast. So I wanted to be sitting down before that point. So, there he goes. He locks in. And then we cut to that shot. I think the next one is, so he doesn't, I don't really need him to do anything at this point, because he's just going to be sitting in the booth until he laughs, so that's like way down at the end here, so he'll laugh at the very end. <laughs> It looks uncanny. Looks terrible at the moment, but that's this is the process. It, even even like major Pixar movies and all that stuff look at some point like this, where they're just sliding around, like just just the timing is there and like lining everything up. So I know I'm gonna have a few steps here. Uh, then the sitting down, like I feel like that's a little too fast. So maybe I need to give him more time to walk over to the booth here. Then, of course, I have to kind of slide everything. Maybe, oh, you know what I can do? Is just like wait for him to come in the door. So, I don't know what this keyframe is. Random, go away. No, okay. Um, I, can, I can make a keyframe here that he's outside. So I grab this, because I want him to kind of push the door open. So I'm going to just key all of this at the first frame. And then there he walks in. Still going to be a little fast. I guess I, I guess my problem was not that he didn't have enough time. It was that he was moving too fast. Mm. So yeah, like when you get to this point, it's a lot of a lot of busy work. You know, you just kind of like subtle or like making small changes and <clears throat> yeah, I think maybe that it was just like he wasn't didn't have enough time here. He can already be coming in the door and then I guess we can just change our camera. Maybe that's going to be the easiest thing to do. So we want to go to that frame we had before. And I think he's already sitting down in the booth at this point. So maybe we can just move this whole thing over. So once he is out of frame, it will cut to that other shot. Oh, there we go. And he's still walking and then he sits down. Yeah, that, that works a little bit better, I think. That way he's not like out of shot the whole time. Now he's still on that side of the camera. He comes and sits down. Cool. I feel like that's pretty solid. <clears throat> um, I'll block out. I think I'll, I'll block out the rest for our other character for Taurus here, and then I think that will get us. To, that's that's our two hours, huh? Yeah, man. So there's so much to do to like prep for this thing. It's it's so interesting. Yeah, it's whoops. Oh, it can be a lot. So now we've got Taurus here. So he's got he's got his frames already. So I'm just gonna go to frame zero or one and scale them out. Um, so that's the newspaper. I gotta line the newspaper up too. The newspaper has its own animation. So I know that the whoops, the the newspaper goes down in this shot 
So I want to move these over to somewhere here. So as the camera pans, you can, he's going to move this pretty slow. <laughs> Maybe I'll have him do it. Yeah, that's better. Kind of the reveal. <laughs> okay. Yes. So he looks, he starts to look up and he's, <laughs> hours. So I want those hands to move with. So now that we've got our newspaper timing, uh, pose, mode, select everything. Well, he doesn't have any poses until there, so I don't need these. He keeps his pose. So this has got to line up with the newspaper. I'll probably add some other like subtle movements in there once we get to that point. Because I want him to keep his face down so you can't see anything until he moves the newspaper, which I think is right there. I want that to line up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So lock in, cut, sit down. He starts talking. I'm thinking that maybe uh, this should st start a little earlier. Yeah. Maybe since we've added some like care, uh, some some camera motion to most of these, I'm kind of thinking that we might as well go all in and add more here. So yeah, like, yeah, that's a cool idea. Then skip to the next. I want to grab this and move it so that we can see him better. Of course, we gotta, we'll have to animate the depth of field too um, mm -hmm. once we get there. That will add a lot of uh, Oh, I, didn't even, I didn't even think about that. That's cool. He comes over, sits down. I don't know if I like maybe that cuts him off a little too far. Um, I'll add a little. I just want to key the rotation here. I don't want to key the lo ro uh, location that way. It and it tracks him a little too much. So maybe I'll just. Uh, Go back to this frame and uh, move it up a little bit. Maybe that would be better. Let's try that. Oops. Little face rotation. Yeah. I think I probably want to go a little. Mm, let, me, let me do this. One time, I'm gonna replace that. I'm just gonna go a little more subtle, I think. Well, I don't like that he's like totally hidden by the newspaper mm -hmm. necessarily, but I could just change where he's sitting too. Mm -hmm. So he locks in. That's yeah, that's better. A little. Yeah, he doesn't really. St you know, by the time he's hidden behind it, like the shot's over. Right. <laughs> His head's moving a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's okay. So he'll talk there. He'll talk. I think I think that's blocked out. Yeah, for the most part. Totally. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty simple. Simple, I should say. But yep. for what it is, it's simple. Um, for like a full animation. Totally. Um, 
So we'll have to bang out some foley for the like the all the little things next time. Uh, get the newspaper, like some like table sounds, the sitting down on the bench sound. Um, the background music. We got we got that. Oh yeah, so. background music exists. Uh, so I can start like sending you assets. You know, I don't know how much of the audio mix you want to do over there. Like, uh, I think just like as much as. Um, yeah, I guess I can I can sort of sync up the time. I mean, I can give you times too as I animate. Like once oh, yeah, I know yeah. the exact frame, I can tell you exactly where, like in seconds, uh, that it uh, mm. should line up. Although I don't know how accurate. I mean, I can be like yes, so uh, like one twenty fourth of a second. Or something you know, something that might be better is just exporting a really low resolution version of it. If that's mm -hmm. if that I don't know how efficient oh, yeah. that is. Um, but just something that I can drop in my timeline and see. Right. And then I can line stuff up, you know, like, and then make sure that, like, the dialogue could, like, because this is an issue when you're trying to line up bits of audio that uh, don't start at the same time. Is like, you know, like, you have to go in and manually do it, right? Right. Uh, but I could, like, give you, if you gave me a video, I could just make something that syncs straight to that, and then you can. Really? So there may be some back and forth thing, uh, okay. you know, uh, to, to just, like, make our mm. to ease our sync right and to let me have more control over the final sound yeah. you know because the, the 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 more fully baked i give it to you the less you know like like i want as the audio guy i want to do as much of the post as possible and you know so like i'd rather not like leave it to the animators to like <laughs> oh yeah mix the whole to do yeah. the mix and the master and shit so right yeah, so that should work then. So as I go through and animate, I'll at least like make sure this is synced up. And then, uh, oh yeah, I can turn the volume down a little bit. There we go. And then I can just take this and like, it'll include that audio that I've stuck on. And then I can just line that up with the audio on my timeline. Right. And then we're, we're away we go kind of thing. I feel like maybe I wonder if I can I don't know if I can cut this. Okay. Oh, so you can like uh oh, yeah, I can split it. Yeah. So I might time I might change the timing a little bit. Yeah, well then sweet. Yeah, this is a great reason to send it back to me then. Right. Oh yeah, because I can I, I should be able to export it with um Yeah. Yeah, your your what your editing here is pretty non destructive. So like like uh uh Video files, you know, like our containers that contain the video and the audio. Um, right. And uh, the audio is pretty much 100% of the time encoded as a wave. So, sweet. It should be non destructive when you export this. If I'm understanding things correctly, which it's always possible I'm not. Something weird is happening. We're getting like a keyframe in there of. I think maybe if see if I don't like line these up perfectly, there's yeah. Now this isn't. I gotta go one frame over. There we go. I wanted to. I it's I find it interesting that they're displayed as blobs. You know, like 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 it's hard to see where that point is. You know what I mean? Like oh yeah. Like the like the like the the exact right spot is like sort of in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but like the way it's rendering on the screen, it's actually like slightly on the left. It, it is really weird because it if you're not if you're zoomed out, I mean it it looks yeah. like they're overlapping. There's no way to tell. You have we to have like, really similar problems in Audio Land where like you know like sometimes Ableton will be doing something weird with clips that like don't want to interact correctly, and it's because there's a tiny gap between them that you can't see right. when you're that far zoomed out. That's a real head scratcher until you until you're used to solving that one. So I think we've got our general layout here. I gotta do like I can easily change stuff for the door. Like I want it to be open until he pa he's gonna push it open further, so I can easily just like I could probably turn on the auto keying, which gives me the ability to key. I'll do it that way. There we go. I can actually key it to where he is. Pull this back. So he pushes it. Whoop! There he goes. And then yeah, he look at that realism. That's you know. Easy enough. Oh, there it goes. So the, there's the door sound too. Yep, we got one of those. Yep. 
So yeah, maybe like maybe we'll start with a uh, our next audio session with like uh, kind of making a cue list, and we'll I'll grab some Foley stuff while you're doing lip syncing. Yeah, and, sounds good. And, and adding whatever little, other little animation. Yeah, yeah. Cleaning up. Just adding, I'll add a few more T poses in here. So mm -hmm. what I'll do is is pretty much um, like for example <laughs> our our dude here. He'll be doing a little bit more uh, like action. So um, you know, obviously I don't really need to do all the footsteps because he's not, we don't ever see his feet. Right. So essentially all I really have to do is, uh, in pose mode, give him a little bit of like, dun, 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 and then it will be, that would be good. Totally. So dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that's, that's what it'll be. And right. then, you yeah, know, as long as you're not seeing low enough to see that his legs aren't moving back and forth. Right. I might do some basic thing, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Yeah, totally. Um, like his feet might clip through the floor, even it might not matter. Right. So, but for now, you know, he comes over here. He might like I might have him put his hand on the on the back of the seat, mm -hmm. or you know, put his arm out and sit down. Oh man, uh, so many details. It's yeah. it's so <laughs> wild. You know, like I think about this like with like you know doing playing instruments and like thinking about like kinesiological things and ergonomics and stuff. Like you know, like like we move our body like simple motions in our body or like things like speech take or like so many complex groups of muscles and so much so many complex things happening at once just to make something that we don't even think about mm -hmm. you know like i'm sitting here wrapping a cable and just like thinking about how many tiny little hand and arm motions that like just we just do without thinking but like say so <laughs> you want to make a character do that and have it look real is like you might oh, yeah. start mo capping stuff. <laughs> yeah, one day. I'd one love day. To have access to that stuff. It's getting cheaper all the time. Yeah, the the one company that I've always uh, followed has uh, just released a new version of their suit. Oh, cool! Uh, Is that one like three thousand dollar one that we looked at? The yeah, back? the Rococo. Yeah, yeah. Company that they they they've got a their new suit has like before you had to buy. All the pieces, they had like hand trackers and mm -hmm. stuff too. Before you had to buy it all separate. Now they've got one that's all one thing all together. So it comes with the the the, the hand trackers are built into the greater suit. So you only need like one battery pack for the whole suit. And before you needed two and some other things. And just like they've upgraded their software. It's really cool stuff. Um, definitely like what you would need to learn to like. Be you know get into the industry is is mocap. Like that's 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 the standard now. It's pretty rare to um, animate stuff by hand, really. Right, I imagine it's just so inefficient compared it, to right when you could take you know make a loop with with a like walk on a treadmill for like fifteen seconds and create a loop out of that and. Right. Uh, that you've got, you know, this super realistic character walk cycle. So, I feel like in like a, a, a musical thing that's similar is like trying to like make a realistic sounding guitar like mm. out of a MIDI instrument. Yeah, there's so much nuance into how like a guitar, or a violin, and there's like guitars are, that are notoriously weird for some reason. Although violins are harder to sample, we just like to really capture all the nuance that a human being can do on that instrument. Like, it's so much more efficient to just record somebody doing it. Then, right. Like, unless you, if you want anything beyond something, you know, like, beyond just the most simple, like, the like, held note, you know, like, if you want any kind of interest or articulation or nuance, it's like, just get a person to do it. Right. You know, yeah. Record that. I mean, like, we, you and I could set up a table similar to this and act out this whole thing and just import it and already have, like, our animations pretty much finished. Right. There, we wouldn't need to block anything out. we just, like, record it. Uh, import both the characters. And we just need, what, like $10,000 worth of equipment? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could do it with one of those suits. I think right. their new ones are, yeah, a little bit a little bit over four grand. Um, but, like, you know, it's if you're when you're working for an actual studio, that 10000 can go to, you know, either one of those suits and then save you, or two of those suits and save you hours of work time. Yeah. You know, so it's like a it's an investment in in your. It probably you know. pays for itself immediately. Oh, I'm sure. 
Uh, I mean, you, you guys have seen how like long just this has taken us to get to, even though, I mean, we've been talking about it and, you know, figuring it out and good stuff, but still like we could have had, a, if we had a mocap suit, we could have recorded it today and had our animation pretty much finished. It would just be, you know, polishing yeah. essentially. And now we'd still have to do the camera setup, but that's about it. So, you know, like we're very much like DIY kind of in spirit around here, you know, we're trying to like show people how to do things that are accessible, like, right. you know, um, but, but yeah, it's like when you get to that next professional level and you're trying to really like really step it up, like sometimes you got to invest in some equipment mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, for, for hobbyists, like it's not, it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense to do that. But for if you're like in the business of doing it, it's just like it's kind of a no-brainer. And yeah. I think I think it's kind of interesting because like you know a lot of people never make it out of that hobbyist state, and that's fine, you know. But it can seem like there's all this like expensive stuff, expensive music stuff gets marketed towards hobbyists and professional musicians alike, and it can feel kind of like why are you trying to sell me this ten thousand dollar thing or like who buys this like how <laughs> who possibly needs this thing. And it's like, well, if you need it, you know. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Um, and, and like, like the having the right tool is like obviously like doing the job, but doing it efficiently is huge. You know, in mm -hmm. in this in like production industry, like time is money. Oh yeah. Like, well, you know, like if clients are paying us by the hour to do this animation, or you know, like or if we're like if we're getting paid by the hour, like we need to be as fast as possible, and it might you know save whoever's paying us a lot of money to give us better equipment, right? You know, or like whatever. If we're pay, if we're like if we're doing animations, we're probably charging flat rates for stuff, right? Like, freelancers generally don't quote hourly, you know, like yeah, it's 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 more common to like do project rates, I think. Although it certainly depends who you are, of course, um, but you know, like. In that case, you know, like doing the job most efficiently makes you more money. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like I charge yeah. a flat rate for a few of my services and like if I do them quickly, I get paid better. Yeah. And, and like, you know, like I'm just doing the same job. I just, anyways, so like uh, a tool that helps me do that job a little faster, if I do that job a lot, it pays for itself. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Anyways, little rant about this. I see, so <laughs> I see people like ranting about like why do you know like wh why do people need these like new computers or whatever and like you know these like I'm looking at getting a new Mac. And there's these fancy new Macs that like have these way overpowered processors in them, but I hear people talking about how it like cuts their like app development times in half and stuff like that when they're wow. like built or like building code and like rendering times are just like if it saves you. 20 or 30 or 50 percent of your time yeah there you go exactly. anyways but it's always it's always fun to learn how to do things the old-fashioned way too because like you know like like the mocap suit is an input method to help you write better automation for these things or whatever and, right and so yeah. like if you're not if you don't understand the kind of information it's generating and how to work with it it's gonna be just a mess yeah. You know, and so, like, at least, like, tr seeing how, how it feels like to do this and then be like, oh, well, uh, now, I, now I get why I don't do it this way. <laughs> There's an element of that, too, you know. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So maybe maybe one day. It would be cool just to, to have it as a – because, I mean, like like I said, when, if you're working in the industry and, – and there's ways you can get mocap data online. So, like, oh, yeah. working with it is, is a great, great workflow to understand, at least. I see a lot of like so. projects, like people messing with like texturing and like simulated like particles, like with like uh, just what appears to be like mocaps with like dancers and stuff from mm -hmm. that are just like out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, um, Adobe has a big library of uh, oh cool, yeah. of um, uh, mocap data and characters that you can import. We'll have to do that sometime. I think yeah. that'd be kind of cool. Cool project. You can do for it to one students. of our characters here. Oh yeah, yeah. something. Yeah, make 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 them do like a Fortnite dance. Do some break. Yeah, that would be. Uh, it's definitely doable. <laughs> cool. Oh my! Can we make the new bumper screen for the stream just like our characters like doing like a goofy dance? Yes, it is. It like, is something that can be done. Find find some. If that of the, is what you desire. I think it'd be pretty fun. You got to make some music for him to dance too. 
I, I'm all about it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm all yeah. over it. Cool. Well, maybe maybe we'll do that as a for the for the credits of this short film, and then uh, we can have a different version of the uh, uh, for the stream intro. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. dude, like build a 3D, just like 3D text that just says Mars Project, and then you can like do some yeah. weird camera stuff, have them dance around it. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with the idea of making these characters dance now. Yes, it didn't occur to me that that was an option. It is definitely. <laughs> um, so we'll have to do that and show you guys how to import, um, um, what are they called? Uh, file import, they are the... BVH motion capture data. Load BVH motion capture file. Mm. Yeah. So fun. All right. Well, sweet. We did it once again. Yeah. Things happened. I spent way too much time playing those silly sounds on my keyboard, but we got some compelling dialogue. I think and, so. And some. Uh... <laughs> I know you guys can't hear it yet, but. Oh my god! We can revisit it. Next stream. Oh yeah. Right. You quad might see say banana. Did it play double there? I just played it over here real quick. Oh, okay. I was like, so your people, did so I people, mess something up? so people could hear it. Ah. All right. Well, I guess um, we will call it for today, and we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back next week. Yes, we will be back next week. We the week will. after we are taking uh, the day off, so yep. <laughs> to go eat some turkey. Turkey day, turkey day. Sounds good. I I love Thanksgiving food, stuffing and turkey and ham and. Why don't we eat that food year round? I wonder. Uh, I'm just gonna go home and make some stuffing. I know. I uh, <laughs> business idea: a Thanksgiving food. Food cart. Ooh, yes. Year round. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, guys. Take it easy. We'll be back next week. See you later. Bye. <laughs>